about Whoopi Goldberg. Oh, I guess those are my cue cards. Whoopi Goldberg here, who actually was dragged this week for wearing a Prince Hall Freemason shirt as she sat on television and acting like she didn't know what a Prince Hall Freemason was. Now, Whoopi, I got to give you your props because people are always talking shit about you. But I ain't good. Look, look, back, look, back in the day, back in the day, Whoopi could have got it. I don't care what none of y'all say. Back in the day, she gave you that. Man, back in the day, Whoopi. Now she going to bake you some cookies. But Whoopi got a... Whoopi. I'm just saying. Did you know her daughter used to date uh, uh, Stevie J? I just thought that was interesting. Anyway, so moving right along from that. She wore this Freemason shirt. It was more like a sweater vest. Or whatever, because, I mean, she wears big-ass clothes anyway. But she claims she didn't know what it was. Their internet was on the ruckus. And so she has now vowed to never wear the shirt again. She says that she just got it from online and had no clue what Prince Hall Freemason actually meant. Now, I want y'all to tell me if a woman that has been in the industry as long as she have, especially being a black woman in this industry, do you believe that she didn't know what a Prince Hall Freemason was? Y'all tell me. She knew. Oh no, oh no, she definitely knew. Yeah, like dang, that's Whoopi. Yes, that's Whoopi. Yes, Whoopi was cute. She knew for sure. She knew for sure. Now, the reason why she wore it, I'm not exactly sure. Honestly, probably just showing her allegiance, you know, to the Masons. And uh, look, I I'm not here to talk no shit. I'm just here to let you know that I'm not believing that she didn't know. And so, as you guys may or may not be aware of, this is actually the symbol of a Prince Hall Freemason, all right? The Prince Hall Freemasons are the black version of the Masons. So, after the American Re Revolutionary War, there was about 15, uh, 15 black men that actually wanted to join the Masonic Lodge. They were not able to, so they found out their own. And, and, and that's pretty much what it is to this day, all right? I want to show you guys a few pictures from the Prince Hall Freemasons mason meetings as you guys know the typical checker floor the duality of the dark and the light we see this time and time again in a lot of celebrity homes on television shows and of course this checkerboard pattern we see time and time again in music videos hey megan hey cardi we see it all up and through uh in addition to that this is a, a masonic lodge that's actually in france so now this is one of the originals as you see uh, with the floor is beautifully uh clean but nonetheless they kneel there on the left and the right uh to do their prayer and their initiations rituals etc and then of course you got the candles before you come in and the checkerboard floor right there in the middle now a lot of people were saying well damn is whoopi a, a prince hall freemason women can't be prince hall freemasons women can't be masons like it's actually literally one of the rules and in addition to that uh but in addition to that what you guys should know is that there are female versions of these masonic orders all right so one of them is called job's daughters and Hold on, let me see if it'll let me pull this down. All right, that's one of that's the cover of one of the books of Job's daughters. Now I couldn't show you any pictures because a lot of the girls are little girls, and I'm not I'm not playing with that with YouTube. In addition to that, you have the Rainbow Girls organization as well, and then on top of that, you have the uh, North uh, Order of the Eastern Star, Order of the North Star. Damn, it, I can't remember it, but it's like colorful. Anyway. I'm sorry that to say, even with the female versions of the Masons, they can't even be initiated into those uh, fraternities unless they're connected to a Mason. And so for me, for me to see Whoopi be that comfortable with wearing that shirt, I feel like she's either dating a Mason or she or she's related to one or something. Mason is in her family some kind of way because there's no reason why she just wore that shirt for nothing. Now, what you guys do need to know is that I'm not here to tell you if Mason is good or bad because a lot of y'all got Masons in your family. But keep in mind, your, your Mason uncle in Cleveland, Ohio is not the same as a Mason that works in government or that works in the entertainment industry. Because famously, uh, I mean, because uh, uh, co coincidentally, a lot of famous and powerful people are also Masons. All right. So if you read these Georgia Godstones here, which is a Masonic order, it says maintain humanity under what is that? 500 million. 
in perpetual balance with nature uh how many billions of people in the world right now it almost seems as if a bunch of people are gonna have to die in order to make that happen who else is trying to do that bill gates guide reproduction wisely improving fitness and diversity this this is a this ain't nothing but another form of eugenics they want to uh, reduce the reproduction of certain people in order to match the lower levels of reproductions in others all right they only want a certain kind of people in this world reproducing come on now we've all heard this before unite you human Humanity with a living new language. Now, this one actually hasn't come yet. So I'm waiting on I'm waiting on that one. Like, what's gonna be the universal language? Now, I don't know if the universal currency will be Bitcoin. I, I don't know what it'll be. I'm just throwing shit out there. But what the university the unite unite humanity with a living new language. I don't know if that's happened yet. But nonetheless, I just wanted to put those in your head so you would have a mind about what Freemasons were. We'll go deeper on Patreon with it. But I want to read you a list real quick of famous Freemasons, Prince Hall Freemasons here. We got Shaquille O'Neal, Nat King Cole, Trayvon Martin's lawyer, Jesse Jackson Jr. and Sr., Don King, Emmanuel Lewis, Nelson Mandela, Roland Martin, Thurgood Marshall, Scotty Pippen, Richard Pryor, Al Sharpton, and Lionel Richie, to say the least. And so, I'm just saying, you tell me what you think. Yamaya's Gift is a brand that specializes in medicinal herbs and all natural supplements to help alleviate a lot of conditions that Americans suffer from, okay? Now, Yamaya's Gift got products to help you with that hypertension, to help speed up that weight loss, get rid of them fibroids, as well as help alleviate the symptoms of that diabetes. Oh yeah, that sugar, that sugar is real bad. So now with Yamaya's Gift, you get a lot of gifts, but the best gift that anyone could ever give you is the ability to heal thyself from the inside out with products like elderberry syrup to help keep that immunity in check because we all fighting Miss Rona. We all trying to windmill her ass up out of our lives, but one of my personal favorites, as a matter of fact, two of my personal favorite products with Yamaya's gift is the all natural honey and the tea that's for men. And the reason why I like those products is because if you are somebody with a low sex drive and you need a boost in the bedroom and if you are ready to get Brian Pompered, Lexington Steel all night long, then just put some of that in your man's cup and you will be on your way to a happier, healthy marriage, all right? Now place your orders today, whether you need your immunity taken care of, you're trying to lose some weight, you're trying to get rid of that sugar, the diabetes, or you're just trying to bust a nut, okay? Order her shit at www.yamayasgift.com.